Well, this seems like as good a time as any to start the video. It's gonna be that kind of day, but you know what? We are happy, we're positive. How are you today? Happy Monday morning, or happy whatever day and time you are watching this video. Turns out past Carolee has thought of this eventuality and she has prepared us. So we don't even have to craft a slingshot. She had one there waiting for us. Love it. Okay, so yeah, here's what we just shot down, the balloon. Let's see what we got. I got some flowers in my pocket to sell. Oh, illuminated reindeer. Hooray, that's fun. And we have some bells here. And you may notice that the turnips are no longer around. What happened was we were tur turnip tracking the prices in the turnip tracker and all that good stuff and it was like yeah big spike coming big spike coming and then the the chances of that big spike kept getting smaller and then the turnip tracker was finally like yeah you're just on a decreasing week and it's only going down from here. So we ended up having to sell the turnips at 63 bells a piece after buying them at 107. Let's just take a moment. But you know what? It's, it's how it goes. So we're just gonna pull up our big girl pants and buy some more next week. It's gotta go up at some point, right? <laughs> okay, so we're here. We're playing rags to riches. We're, tr we're trying to get 10 million bells. We have two goals left. One is to obtain a great statue to finish our art collection, and the other is to get 10 million bells in the bank. Now, last I checked, it was about 6 million. This is almost a million. Anyway, we're saving it for to buy turnips in a couple days. It's Friday in the game, so in a couple days, we'll add, we'll add to this, and then whatever we get, we'll buy turnips and try to get some money again. We're, we're at 6 million in the bank last I checked which means we've got four million to go. We've got plenty to do. We have some two times Nook Miles goals, even one five times Nook Miles goal. We gotta spend some Nook Miles. We gotta change our outfit. We've gotta catch some snowflakes and we gotta catch a few more fish. Now I've been running around for a few minutes, um, which is how I broke a slingshot. But uh, yeah, let's start out with changing our clothes. And I think we actually, because um, Label was here yesterday, I think we may actually have a tailor's ticket waiting for us in the mailbox. So let's go check on that. And if we don't, then I guess we didn't do a very good job <laughs> of her assignment yesterday, which was business. Ah, yes, here we go, Label. So maybe we get to buy something new today because that's about the only time I've been buying clothes aside from that one day that I splurged because it was my favorite dress ever. Um, and we have a few other items here that we ordered from the Nook Miles program which I tried to get out earlier but my pockets were full. So if you watched the no talking video yesterday uh, then you know that we did a little bit of m minor construction here and there. Looks like the, we'll be doing crops again today, but probably not in the video. <laughs> that that um, will add to our bank account as well. But yes, we did a little bit of minor construction here and ordered a few things from the Nook Miles. So we have to decide what we want here and what color it needs to be. So I thought it would be fun because this is the end of the road thought it would be fun to have like a little um, fair, either ferris wheel or merry-go-round here on the end of things. So it's gonna go right here. So let me know what you think. Do we go ferris wheel? And we're gonna get a few a couple more of these little fancy things. So that's what we can order with our nook miles. We need a couple for the front and a couple for the back. So nobody goes you know, running off into the ocean when they're over here waiting for their ride. Anywho, so yeah, Ferris wheel is option one. How did those lights get uneven? All right, we're gonna have to fix that. <laughs> we're gonna have to fix that. Um, and then option two, oh no. Okay, hold on, let me put this light back down. I got a pocket full of flowers because I was cleaning up all the rampant flowers. 
that grew from yesterday's snow. Okay. <laughs> so in addition to whether we should go with the merry-go-round or the ferris wheel. That's question one. Merry-go-round or ferris wheel? And then question two is which color should we go with? Because um, this is the color that it came in, but we have like the pink option. We have the black option for something a little more elegant. And then I think there's one maybe that's blue and red or something. I don't remember exactly what the fourth color looks like, but if you know, um, let me know what you think. What, what do we need to do for this? Uh, and we also, because you can't just have, you know, that. We got some balloons to go down here. Which we're, yeah, it's all going to need to be arranged a little bit because I still want to be able to run through here. But we got the balloons and we got a, a springy ride on. I don't know if we're going to leave that down here. But it looked cute when I was going through the Nook Miles catalog, so we got it. Okay, so <laughs> that's that. Now, we were going to go to Abel's. Um, okay, you guys... This is what always happens. I say, we're gonna go do something, and then we stop like 42 times along the way. Let's go do the Abel's thing. And then hopefully I'll remember what else I was gonna do after that. And what I was gonna do was go order those little fences with my Nook Miles. So we can get the five times full. What do you have today? Yes, we have a tailor's ticket. She only sent us one. I think if you really get the outfit right, she sends you two, right? I know she sent me two at least once. Okay, so these little pea coats are super cute. Ooh, I like the red. The red is speaking to me today, but we have to see what else is available here. Um, ooh, we could get the other color option of the favorite dress. That is another way to go. That's a good use of Taylor's ticket. How much is, ooh, yeah, either one would be a good use of Taylor's ticket. Um, our, a third option would be a reindeer costume, but I think we're going to skip that one. <laughs> Let's see. We probably don't need any more hats. Oh, I love these. I love the Nordic socks. Okay. If we got this dress, we could get the gray Nordic socks to go with it. And then we already bought the black moccasin boots. Um, I think, I think that's how, yeah, I think... Although, I am really liking that red coat. That is super cute. And she does already have one of those dresses. Does it take you guys this long <laughs> to decide how to spend your stuff in Nooks? Oh, Abel's. All right, you know what? I think we're actually, I think we're feeling this coat today. So we're going to do the coat. And we're not, we're not going to spend money on that. But we are getting the socks. We're getting the socks for 100%. Oh, should we get a different pair though? Should we get the red ones to go with our red coat? Yeah, I think we should get the red ones. Purchase. 840 bells is not too bad. We can do that. <laughs> okay, so now on top of that... And not forgetting that we need to go and buy fences. Uh, another one of our two times goals is to change our outfit. So let's, let's snazz this up a little bit to go with the red coat. We're gonna... yeah. Blue skirt's not working anymore. Okay, so what can go with this? We have a red skirt. We can put that on underneath. That's cute. And then we can still see our socks. The pants are cute. I just kind of, I like the skirts. <laughs> We're going to go with the skirt. Now, the hat. This red does not match our red, so that's out. Ooh, this does. You guys, is this it or is this it? Yeah, I think, oh, well, we have this option too. No, 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 it's definitely the steampunk hat. We got that settled. Now the shoes. <laughs> we go with the little moccasin boots. I think that's pretty cute. Yep, I think we got our look right here. Do we have a bag that goes with this look? Do we want to go with this little... Do we need a... Oh, look at that. That's it. That's us today. We're doing red. Cool. Another Nook Miles goal done. We have to catch some snowflakes and some fish too. Okay, let's go buy our fence pieces so that that one's done. And maybe we can catch a few snowflakes along the way. So 
see Bon Bon out here. I love when all the villagers are out here in their little hats and coats. It's just so cute. Is there anything good in here? No, just a bunch of cardboard boxes from all the people moving in and moving out. We need to redeem some enough miles. We need to buy... What is it? Steel fence. That's what we want. And we can change the color of that too. It doesn't have to stay yellow. I just happen to have two of them that I already had for some reason ordered before. Don't remember why. They were in the storage. And a regular fence wasn't working down there because it was like it was too far from the edge. It was taking up too much space. So that's why we switched to these and we need four of them. So let's order four. Um, yeah, sometimes I really don't like how much room the regular fences take up. But it's nice that we have options now. So we can we can do this. It'll be good. And those will be here tomorrow. We will not make another selection. Thank you. Okay, do we have any reason to talk to Tom, Nook, or Isabel? I don't think so. Bye, guys. Cookie! Oh, Cookie's rocking the pea coat too. Hi there, sing along. What's up? Guess what? I was playing single player hide and seek and I won. I am so bored. <laughs> Poor Cookie. Let's give her a giant clam. Cheer her up. I hope they're in my pocket. Yes, they are. Okay, oh, then we need to uh, put our tux on for a minute and duck into nooks and sell these flowers. A facial mask, okay. Yep, we'll sell that. Thank you. Bon Bon. When Star Song is covered in snow, it's pretty easy to track someone's movements. Okay, that is not what I expected her to say. Um, Bon Bon? <laughs> okay. You know Toy Day is coming up soon, right? Do you already have wrapping paper and gifts ready? Okay, don't panic if you don't. There's still time to worry about finding the perfect gifts for everyone. Oh, did I say worry? No, no. This is fun. This is what we live for. I'm not stressed. I'm psyched. That's that's good, Bon Bon. Okay, she is the third villager to be, like, hinting to me that we need to be finding some gifts for our villagers. So maybe we better start thinking about that because Toy Day is coming up in our game. Press a button. Okay. Vesta is reminding you to press a button. The like button is one option. There's a cool button that lets you comment or you could choose to subscribe. Nice to see you. I like to drift off while I watch snowflakes fall from the sky. Me too. Okay, what's up? Um, okay, we're gonna give her a gift even though we already have her photo. We're not going to give her a facial mask. All right, we'll just give her a clam. It's fine. We gave Vladimir a clam yesterday, and he gave us his photo again. So now we have two Vladimir photos. Which is kind of funny. All right. Thank you, Vesta. Ooh, snowflake. How many do we have to catch? Probably three. It's like a tiny, beautiful sculpture. You know, it'd be really fun if there was like an interaction with these where you could sing. No, there's not. <laughs> oh well. Oh yeah, I got this out of a balloon yesterday, I think. So that's fun. Pears. I don't know what, if anything, we will do with it, but it is fun. Okay, let's see. What were we doing? We were doing a thing. I'm pretty sure. An important one. Um, but I can't remember now. So we'll just go over here and talk about these bugs. We caught the dung beetle the other day. And then these two bugs I got from August. We went and visited uh, Consul Carrie's Island yesterday to sign her board for her. She had a few minutes for us to run around and catch some bugs and fish. And these are the two uh, ones we caught that we didn't have before. It's a purple... purple... something butterfly? Purple emperor? 
Emperor? No, I don't remember. It's a purple butterfly and um, a Miyama stag, I believe. So we'll be donating those at some point. I'm still looking for the fourth fossil of the day. So when we find that, we'll take all that stuff in the museum. And I think I just remembered what I needed to do, which was change into the tuxedo and sell these flowers out of my pocket because our pockets are full. And I keep meaning to change into the one with sleeves, but um, this one's like right at the top and so I just automatically push it. Okay, current price 55. Yeah, it just keeps going down. Not good news. We sold at 63, which was the price that it was at when, um, when the turnip tracker said, nope, it's just going down this week. So we just uh, sold them at 63, which was quite a loss and it did hurt my feelings quite a bit. <laughs> but um, you know what? It is the way it goes. All right, that's all the flowers and clothes that we can sell. A little bit of bells, little bit more. And what was up here that I bought? Hmm, was it still in my pocket maybe? No, it wasn't the ferris wheel. Yeah, I totally don't remember. I do however remember that it cost 3,000 bells. Isn't it funny? I remember the price but not what it was. <laughs> all right, we, I think that's all our snowflakes. Yep. Beep beep. Cool. That's done. Okay, so I did keep the picked flowers in the pocket because, um, you know, just in case we get a recipe that uses those. I tried to remember to pick the flowers from all the flowers that I dug up and sold first. Oh, Flick is here today, by the way. So... Uh, we, we can be catching bugs, too, if we see any good butterflies or anything. Like that one. Now they're worth a thousand normally, so Flick gives us a little bit more. And at this point, any bells we can get are bells we're gonna get. Alright, so I'm gonna drop the Ferris wheel here. And we'll probably switch that out a couple times today. While we're trying to decide which one goes over there. Is it the merry-go-round? Is it the Ferris wheel? Okay, let's look at our recipes for a second too. Okay, peach dress is what we got in our message in a bottle today. We got the frozen bed. These are all from balloons over the last few days. And then we finally got the carrot curry recipe from whoever was crafting this morning. And I wish I could remember who it was. There's just a lot to remember and I don't, <laughs> I don't remember at all. Okay, we got the bamboo bench. I wanna say that was yesterday's message in a bottle. And then the shell wand, the hanging terrarium and the rose bed. We got all of those from the uh, free DIYs beach <laughs> on console Carrie's Island. So thank you for those, for sharing. And we need to catch three more fish. There's one there. She had a lot more uh, DIYs laying around than what I do by my end. And a lot of them were summer ones because I think her island is in August right now. Which I probably would have taken more except that I can't get summer shells to craft them so I didn't. Ooh, snapper, nice. All right, one more fish and our two times goals will be done. Here's a little one over here. Here, little fish. Oh, and guys, let me show you the Arboretum too because I've done a little bit more work since I stopped recording uh, <laughs> yesterday. So if you watched the uh, no commentary episode, then you saw some of the work that I did, but I did end up doing some more past that. So let me show you that in just a second. Let's go ahead and get these claimed so that we don't forget and lose out on some nook miles. 
Oh, too bad coffee wasn't one of our two times. We may just get a cup of coffee at some point anyway. Sometimes I like to end the episode that way, but then it's, it's really hard because it's kind of like when you try to pat your head and rub your tummy at the same time. It takes some practice. It takes some work. So when I'm in there trying to pay attention to the cues to get the cup of coffee and everything and speak an outro at the same time, it, it doesn't always work. And <laughs> it just, I don't know, comes out a little choppy or there's a lot of editing involved or something. But So I like to get the cup of coffee. Oh, there's, that might be our last fossil up there. Uh, okay, so moving these little mums down here was one of the things that we did yesterday. And I think I actually did that in the video. Uh, we need two more to finish our little display here. But I thought that was cute underneath um, the lilies of the same color up here on Lily Landing. And I added these white lilies in here. We do need extra white lilies because we have two lily crown recipes. We have the one that uses the pink and orange and we have the one that uses the red and yellow. They both use white and it's like even amounts. So over here, each row across of lilies is, actually I think it's, I think it takes three, three of each color to make the crown. So we have like, you know, two, two or three crowns there. Anywho, it uses up all the white ones to go with those. So we need extra white ones to go with the pink and orange over here. And I think this one's red, so it needs to go. And I did actually get rid of a lot of the excess flowers that were down by the beach in the front. And of course we took out that little island that had the rocks on it. And moved our pink and purple mums down here. And we need one more purple mum, which just came in, didn't it? Put right there to even that out. Cool. So I thought that looked cute. And then of course we still have our pansies over here. And I did see when I came in yesterday that we had a few uh, extra pansies that had grown in here. And I, I didn't clean them up at the time. Oh, and you know what? See, there I forgot to pick it before I dug it up, so we're gonna put it back. <laughs> but it was nice having the unbreakable tool yesterday. So we moved and dug up a ton of flowers. Oh, you know what? That's not the one we need to move. It's this one. Oh well, we just picked that yellow tulip. Tulip? Pansy? We just picked that yellow pansy for no reason. <laughs> All right, we're doing great here. Let's go empty our pockets again. That waterfall is a little loud. All right, so I moved all the tulips up here and made this little spot. And I'm gonna stunt these trees when they get a little bit bigger because I don't want them fully grown here, but I thought it'd be cute to have a couple trees there. Yeah, put the tulips in and then we just need to work on getting some more orange tulips to fill in those stripes on that side. I probably need to like move one of these red tulips over to make some crossbreeding there. Got a couple melting snowmen there. Okay, so this moves up here now and actually I need to take this section out because this is, this is gonna be river right here. And then that comes down to right behind Nook's Cranny and what will be the TV studio. But I wanted to have a little bit of room back here so that we could build the height a little bit without blocking everything behind it. That's why I put the river right there. But then that makes our map look a little nicer too. So we have that nice little square of river now. Yeah, I like it. Which, you know, it's not perfectly symmetrical, but I, I feel like that just fits the vibe here. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do we have in our pockets? Uh, some more flower petals, some fish that we need to save, some fish that we need to sell. I would save the snappers for CJ because those, you know, they're worth a fair amount. Uh, we don't need to keep an anchovy. I think that's all we need to put away. Let's sell. And then I think we might be able to go and do our museum stuff because we found the fourth fossil. 
and get rid of these seashells and that sea bass, this anchovy. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and sell these three little flowers instead of <laughs> putting on the tux again. Okay, so something else we did was move all these cedar trees. Ooh, money tree. All the cedar trees that were down here, I moved them up uh, to the walk up to the neighborhood. We're just gonna chop this real quick. And there's a few more white lilies so we can finish filling in that space up top. Up on Lily Landing so we have the extra white. Uh, let's see here. What are we burying? Yes, tree. Okay. And here's one of our snowballs. We'll have to remember that's where that is. They don't always show up right together. But yeah, we moved all the cedar trees up here. And I was a little disappointed when I moved them. Like, every single one that I put down didn't have lights on it. But then when I came in this morning, these first three do have lights on them again. So, <laughs> I'm happy about that. I don't know if it changes every day or if it's just so many cedar trees on the island have lights on them or what. That's what we have for now. Alright, we've got some stuff to donate. And maybe we'll just go ahead and grab our cup of coffee while we're in here. Blathers! Sorry to bother you. We have a job that needs to be done, and you're the only one that can do it. The only one on this island. And that should make you feel pretty special, bud. Alright, we already have these. That's fine. We'll sell them. We like bells. We'll donate. Uh, bad news for you, though. It's all bugs. <laughs> Oh, whoops. Almost missed that Miyama stag. Thank you, thank you, friend. And that is all. Let's go see Brewster. Hey, there's somebody in here today. Is this Dawn? Is it Dawn? Yeah, Dawn. Hey, yeah, uh, nice to see you again. He never does have much to say. But it's always fun when there's somebody in here. We'll take some coffee. Thank you very much, Brewster. And what else do we have to do today? We have to pick the crops and do all our cooking. Which again, I'll probably do later because it's very tedious and long. <laughs> Alright, let's drink our coffee hot. Even though it's not snowing today, it's still cold outside. Hot, hot, hot. It almost burned my tongue, but that's how I like it. Scorching. Thank you very much. Alright, off we go. Oh. Did we get Nook Miles for that? Oh, right, because it's one of our two times. Okay. Oh, I mean, not two times. Oh, but we did. We did get a milestone for this, too. So, that's cool. That means next time we come in for a cup of coffee, he should stop us and give us a little gift. I don't know which one it's going to be. We already got the coffee beans. And we already got the coffee plant, as you can see. Got a second one to grace the museum here. Oh yeah, I did this yesterday too, just threw these little seats next to here. Like, some of that's probably going to change too, because I feel like we're going to be building up something behind the museum here too. So all of these flowers are going to move at some point. Right now that's just extra pumpkins for pumpkin pies. And we're still trying to get some purple pansies. I finally got a second blue one. So, oh, it is snowing. It is snowing. So the snow has been very kindly watering these for us every day, but we haven't got a purple one yet. So hopefully that'll happen soon because we do have a recipe for a purple pansy crown, I think. Crown or wreath, one of the two. There'll be something else that we can sell 
If we still need bells at that point. Alright, that's one snowball. That was the only one we saw so far, right? Okay. Damselfly, you're not worth much. Sorry. <laughs> that's not very nice, is it? Okay, so what else are we working on today? We got another flower that needs to go here. Um, I'm not really saving the black roses anymore. I mean, we have this big patch here. And we have a smaller patch back in the Arboretum. And I had some. Oh, look at Vladimir. Just enjoying the little gyroid there. So cute. I love the villagers. They're so cute. But yeah, we still have this little spot that gives us some gold roses too. When we remember to water it with our golden can. <laughs> but some of these... Some of these patches are going to be getting changed out too because I think at this point blue roses are not a priority. Um, it's just, you know, we were trying for them at the beginning and it has just not come to happen. So we, we did all the right steps, we're just not getting the blue and it's, again, this is not one of my goals for the island. It was just something fun to be trying but I think I think we're past that and we're to the point of wanting to get the island decorated so that we have a dream address to save when we finish. So we can move on to the next thing. Whatever the next thing happens to be. I have a few ideas floating around. All right, let's switch this out for a little while. So we've, we've seen the carousel in action for a little a few times that we've walked by now. Let's just put this ferris wheel up. And see how we're feeling about that for a little bit. Let's go sell these fossils. Okay, I've totally lost my train of thought because I had to get up and let my cat back outside who just came in because she's like that. <laughs> and I love her so much. Um, yes, we were selling dinosaur bones, weren't we? And a few seashells. Okay, and we have a couple bugs so far for Flick. Let's go see if we can find a villager that's crafting. Speaking of villagers, uh, don't forget sometime this week, I'm not sure if it'll be Wednesday or Saturday episode, where we will get to go and visit Lolly in her new home. And so, yeah, about that. <laughs> um... So I was so focused on, you know, getting Lolly adopted and then we had t that whole thing and then the villager hunt and then, um, you know, the, the campsite villager and finding out and it was right at the end of the episode that we found out that Fuchsia was getting kicked. And guys, I totally forgot to find somebody to adopt Fuchsia and I, I just like, ugh. We did so good with Lolly, and I feel like every time I feel like I'm doing good, then I turn around and it's like, nope, you're still a hot mess. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. We're just going to imagine that she went into someone's queue who's been here recently or who we visited recently, and she's just waiting there in the autofill queue, and one day she'll get to move in, and it's all, she's just, she's just waiting. And Tammy's just cooking. What are you cooking, Tammy? A world of tasty flavors. Pizza margarita. You know what? I think that Lolly gave us that recipe before she left. But thank you for the duplicate. We will pass it on. Appreciate it. 
we already have Tammy's photo, so we don't need to give her a giant clam today. Um, we'll remember our snowflake there. We already gave Cookie her clam for the day. Let's check on Anchovy. Anchovy! Yeah, love that sweater. Gigajoule, thanks for coming by. Always cool to see you. Let me just completely block you with my giant hat. <laughs> Let me come around this way and talk to you, Anchovy, so people can see your cute little face. Um, okay, let's go this way. Here we go. That'll work. Is something up? Yes. Tell us what's going on. I have zero questions about your foosball table. Mine makes me feel real cool and grown up. It could work for you too. Not that um, I'm saying you need it. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> have a giant clam. I love the music in Anchovy's house. It's just like so fun. It's KK Ragtime. I checked the last time I was in here. So if you like it too, that's the one you should request when KK comes around on Saturday. Wonder what kind of stuff I can make with this. <gasps> hey, Anchovy's photo. Thank you. <laughs> well, that makes us feel a little bit better about, you know, the turnips and fuchsia and all the things. Also, we just have to dance for just a second to KK Ragtime. <laughs> okay, let's go. Anchovy's just like, whatever, man. Okay. All right, well, um, Anchovy, we're, we're going to steal your thyroid <laughs> and replace it with your photo. I'm so excited we got another photo. Totally not a requirement at all, but it's always fun to get the villager photos. Okay, Wade is not home. Coach, we have not... You've been training? No, not at all. Giant clam. Heavy curls. That's all those uh, sporty guys ever do with those giant clams. It's heavy curls. Okay, he gave us a sweater, which I think is a pretty cute one. Let's take a look. We might actually keep this one. Oh yeah, look at it's our color. It's our color of the day. Red. <laughs> oh, Cookie's gonna do some singing. Love it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much when the villagers sing. Put away our sweater. And um, we'll just put away this gyroid for now. That's actually good, because to be honest, that little arfing gyroid was kind of getting on my nerves every time I ran by there. <laughs> okay, let's drop this recipe. We did have a whole entire row cleared out, and then we got some more. And I need to I need to get these two to a forager because they are gold recipes. Hey, there's Wade. Look at him and oh he's wearing his little gown coat. Oh my gosh. So adorable. Wade, why are you hiding over here? Yay, are you out for a walk? Another neat day on Star Song. Yeah it is. I would like to give you a giant clam if you don't mind. And he's going to give us a tea with silicone bib, which we will sell. All right, thank you, Wade. I love that little gown coat. Who was it? Was it Tammy? Tammy that sent it to him to make up for some fight they had? And he was just rocking it like king of the castle in his house, and it was so funny. 
His house is pretty cool. Literally, because the walls and floor are ice. <laughs> that is one fun thing about getting villagers that I never would have picked. It's like, I get to see all the different houses and stuff. So, I am a fan of Wade now, I have to say. I'm gonna put this giant ornament here. Put in a couple street lamps. And I brought this path right up to the uh, neighborhood. So probably need to put some pathing on this as well. Once we get our 10 million and all that stuff, we'll be able to, you know, like put in some actual bridges and things, which will be awesome <laughs> for getting around. We have an incline up at the top of uh, the neighborhood that's been there forever. It, it's probably got a fair amount paid on it from the villagers just because of how long it's been sitting there. Let's see, we need to make some fishing rods to use up all these extra sticks. Just one more thing we can sell. It doesn't make much. But it does make something. Okay, and when we finish making these fishing rods, we need to go check Harv's Island. Because I haven't seen, I don't think, I don't think I've been there yet today to see what Art Red has. And we did sprinkle some more good luck dust on the space when we bought the ancient statue yesterday. Uh, the fake one. It was a fake one. And that is what we got. And I've been buying the piece that's in the left hand spot all week. So if there's another fake in the left hand spot, then we're gonna buy the one in the right hand spot today. Maybe that spot will be luckier. Because all week we've been buying the fake on the left and it's just been replaced with another fake. Okay, sell these fishing rods. Probably should save one of them to uh, save ourselves 2,500 bells next time we break one. And then we can just put it over here. So I can forget where it is. <laughs> We're not gonna put it there. I'm gonna put it down here on the beach because this is where I used to keep extra fishing rods. Oops, I did not mean to pick up that gyroid. Let's just put him back. And we will make him the guardian of the fishing rod. Clatteroid all, all day about it. Okay, let's go over to Harv's Islands. There's those two. Oh, she's got maracas. So cute. Look at them. Just playing their little music together. Love it. Guys, this game is just so cute. If you're... If you're... <laughs> I feel like sometimes we get desensitized to it because we've been playing it for, you know, almost four years now. But this is a really cute game. There are so many little touches that are just darn cute. Alright, I don't know if this is real or not. I'm gonna have to check. Hold one moment. It is in fact fake, so we're gonna buy the one on the right hand side this time. Which is also fake. And another one for us to toss in the trash. Throwing away quite a few <laughs> fake artworks, but we have to keep buying them to make way for the new ones. So let's just put a little good luck here. Some great statue luck. And we might as well see if we can get another donut. I'm gonna have to make this donut shop epic to live up to all this talk about donuts. <laughs> Alright, we got canned green tea. Alright, just one. Just one thank you. Alright, back to the island we go. Okay, 
we should look for our money rock too. I didn't get the, uh, the luck. Do you get a money rock no matter what? Because when, when I was doing the construction yesterday, I think I broke like four of the rocks. So we probably only have three on the island today because you have six in all, right? And when you break them, they only come back one at a time. So if we broke four of the six and one came back today, that means there should be three rocks around. And if one of them is guaranteed to be the money rock, then it should be pretty easy to find, right? Flick, let's go ahead and sew you these. <laughs> Just a couple butterflies, buddy. Oh wait, do we have- no, oh, no, I sold all the uh, bugs out of the storage to him first thing when I saw he was here. So he's got- yeah. Uh, one of the bags of bells over in front of Nooks is from the bugs that we sold to him this morning. We had quite a few butterflies and wasps saved up. No hermit crabs this time. Haven't been playing at night as much. Here's a rock. Okay, here's our money. And we found our money tree today too. So we got all that money. Nice. No thought bubbles. We have seen a few, but uh, actually it's like everybody that had a thought bubble yesterday wanted to come over to our house and actually, uh, who was it? I want to say anchovy came over to visit our house sometime earlier today. If it was in this episode and I just said that like it was like a long time ago, then you guys check on me. <laughs> check on me now and then. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, oh, we need to make our snowman. Okay. Let's get this down to the other one. And we can't have it off the ground for too long or it'll disappear. So get some snow on your little snowball. I wish we could pick this up. Okay, here we go. Here's the end of the <laughs> path. I should pick up some snow now. kick it into a tree or something. I think this is actually the second spawn for one of these because I saw one of the snowballs earlier get pushed into the river by a dung beetle. So, okay, now we're talking. Let's roll this thing around a little bit so it keeps some... We gotta get it across the road. Oh, we gotta shake it again. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see if we can get a perfect snowman again today. I think we definitely got a perfect snowman yesterday. And I can't remember if it was the one the day before that or the day before that that was also perfect. But we've had a, probably about half and half perfect and not perfect. seems about right. I don't know why that one little patch of dirt is there. Look at all this space now that these trees are gone. I gotta get these other little trees out of here. Actually that one's a money tree, isn't it? I'm gonna find another spot for that little tiny pine. Alright, let's just put you right next to the road over here. The snowmen don't have to be as big as they can go. I know that's like an easy way to make sure you get it perfect every time, but you can actually make a pretty small snowman if you want and still get it perfect as long as you get the ratios right. I 
I don't usually, you know, try that to make it really tiny. But usually, as long as the head... The head has to be almost as big as the body, but not quite. So, yeah, like that. That needs a little bit more on it. Is that a good ratio? I think... I think it's pretty close. I'll put just a tad more on there. Let's see if we did it. Oh, so close. <laughs> so close. Alright, thank you for making me. And thank you for watching the video today <laughs> and hanging out with me while we get some of our stuff done and work our way closer and closer to the 10 million bells, even if we fail on the turnips <laughs> from time to time. Just know that I really appreciate you being here. Please take a quick moment to click the like button or leave me a little comment. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to join us next time, make sure you hit subscribe too. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful day.